Hello and welcome to this session where we'll cover the Wood Reference Design Values database provided in the Structural Engineering Library. This is the database that uh, supplies all of the allowable stress and design values for the wood related calculations as set forth by the NDS and it's typically used in the wood beam and wood column modules. What we'll do in order to open the database is with no project file open I'll just come up to the main menu item databases and then choose wood reference design values. This opens the database so that we can just take a quick walk through all the different options that are provided here in the database. The first thing that we'll do is notice that it references the 2005 NDS and we have a category called size classes to show. In this category we start with the two to four inch thick two inch and wider members. This is referring to tables 4A and 4B in the 2005 NDS. If we happen to have larger wood members that we're working with those that would fall into table 4D then we can choose from the 5x5 five five and larger selection or the posts and timbers or the beams and stringers selection depending upon how our particular uh, combination of uh, wood species and size is categorized in table 4D. Notice that we also have an option to choose glue lambs and that would be specifically table 5A which is typically for beam members and then we have an option to choose manufactured where we can see that the program ships with a variety of manufactured or engineered wood products already listed and if there are others that are of interest to you as you uh, do your work please let us know and we will see what we can do about getting more of those uh, inserted into the program. Last I would point out that there's a user defined button here which allows you to specify some of your own materials if there's something that's unique out there that's not currently available in the NDS tables or in the manufactured wood products tables that we've supplied then you can feel free to create something new and uh, reference that in your calculations as a user defined material. The way that you would create a user defined material would be to come down to the insert button and then you would make your selections here to identify the wood species, the type of member, the grade, the classification, the rating agency, and the tabular values that you want to have associated with that item and then click OK and that user defined section uh, or user defined item would appear here in the table for incorporation into your calculations. For now I'll come back to the two to four inch thick, two inch and wider category and notice that the Douglas fir larch item is highlighted in blue. If I expand that item we can see that specifically the number two category is highlighted and that is indicated as a favorite on this machine. What this does is it makes it so we can conveniently drill into those specific species and grades that we use on a frequent basis and eliminate all of the others that may be considered uh, extraneous to the work that we commonly do. So by way of example if I was to drill into say hem fur number one I could then click on the toggle favorite on and off button and that would mark hem fur number one as a favorite as well. Then if I come over and I select this checkbox that says show favorites only and scroll back up to see those that are listed we can see that I've currently listed select structural in the Alaskan cedar wood species as a favorite number two dug fur larch and here's our number one hem fur notice that it eliminates all of the extraneous species and grade combinations that we don't commonly use so that can be very convenient if you decide that you want to see all of those species again uh, and grade combinations then you can just deselect the option to show favorites only and now we're back to the full series of all of the species and grade combinations that are listed in this particular table. 
Now, if we happen to do some research and uh, drill into some of these tables and expand some to see what grades are available in various species and we want to just neaten up the whole view, we can quickly come back to the expand and contract trees options here. Give those a click to expand all or contract all and that just resets the view uh, to be nice and compact. Also, if we had drilled into a particular species and grade combination and if we were in the wood beam or wood column module we would have the option to then select that species and grade combination which would populate the uh, open calculation with the design values that are shown here associated with that particular combination so that is all of your design values your FB values FV FC FT Young's modulus and density. Okay, so that is a thorough look at the uh, wood st uh, stress or wood reference design values database. Hopefully that's been helpful and we would encourage you to take a look at some of the other videos related to the uh, databases that are provided in the structural engineering library so you're familiar with what's available and how to use them. Thanks very much for your time. Take care and have a great day.